These Chanel shoes, they got me so tempted to the point where I just couldn't resist. Hi and very welcome! My name is Mary, this is my channel Lumi Level Up and I'm a luxury lover on an average income trying to be more mindful with my money. If you watched my latest video about my toxic relationship with Vestiaire Collective, you already know that a Chanel item made me slip my six month streak of not shopping on Vestiaire Collective. Unfortunately, the goal was to never shop on Vestia Collective ever again, since I think they are a terrible company, offer poor customer service and are not safe to shop on, allegedly. I still think that way, yet still, I did it again. If you want to hear some more on that topic and haven't watched the previous video, I do recommend you to do so, because I don't know how else to explain why I'm doing it over and over again. Even though at this point I think I'm safe to say that I kinda hate them. But back to this package. It contains a pair of Chanel shoes that was sold by a professional seller, actually to be more precise here by My Theresa, which some of you might even know. It's a retailer for luxury fashion. I think they are even German, but they do operate internationally. Let me know down in the comments if you know My Theresa and where you live, because that would be interesting for me to know. So they should be reputable and trustworthy, definitely more than Vestia Collective. And in case there is something wrong with these shoes, or they just don't fit, I should be able to return them, since my Theresa is a professional business that has to offer the possibility of returns. Which made me somewhat safer to order something on Vestia Collective again, because it didn't really feel like I'm operating with Vestia Collective but rather with another business, my Theresa. I even checked out if they do have their own little pre-loved section on their site, because if so, I would have preferred to order it directly from them, but it seems like they don't offer any pre-loved pieces on my Theresa, but seem to have this cooperation with Vestia Collective going on. I think before this purchase I never ordered anything from a professional seller, because the private ones usually tend to have the better prices. I most definitely know that I never returned anything I ordered from Vestia Collective, unless items that they sold to me which were not as described when they did allow me to send it back because they realized they made a mistake, but I never returned anything to a professional seller in terms of regular return policy. So I don't have any return experiences yet, but let's just hope that these shoes do fit and that I do love them and I do not even have to make any experiences with the return process. To me, the shoes in this box, they are very classic, very timeless, even though they are none of the classics that get dropped nearly in every collection all the time, like the ballet flats or the espandrilles. Yet still, it's a pair of flats, which spoke to me a lot since I'm already very tall without heels. And in the past, I oftentimes got tempted to buy high heels because they just look so pretty on pictures and on display. But the truth is, I hardly wear them. And I finally came to the point to realize I shouldn't spend designer money on shoes when they hardly ever get worn. But these are flats. And I thought I could wear these shoes for years and years, maybe even decades. And I got them for a very good price on Chanel shoes, I think. Small disclaimer here, they are pre-loved. And I know not everyone is willing to go for pre-loved shoes. I don't mind it as long as they are not completely beaten up. And if there is a leather sole, it's definitely possible to clean that leather sole with a leather cleaner. So I personally think, why not? Pre-loved shoes sometimes have great prices. And don't we all love to save a little bit on our luxury purchases? I know for sure I do. But <laughs> let's finally unbox them, look at them, then I will tell you what I paid. And of course, I will try them on and see if they fit, because I never owned any Chanel shoes. Well, no, 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 that's not entirely true. I do own a pair of Chanel boots with a heel, which are only a size 40C, and I'm usually between a 41 and a 42. I found these boots at the flea market for an incredible price, so I just went with it, <laughs> even if they are somewhat small. But when I'm wearing stockings, tights, then I'm able to slide into them and they do fit in the size 40C as well. So I mentioned I'm between 41 and 42 usually and this pair of 
Chanel flats is a 41 and a half C. So I'm quite confident that they will fit, but you never know. I never had flats from that brand. I sometimes have the feeling that boots tend to fit a little bit more loose. In my mind, I have the theory that boots are constructed a tad wider and bigger because they plan that people do wear thicker socks than in other shoes, but maybe that's just my crazy mind. Yeah, it's the Vestia Collective box that I'm not very excited about anymore because, yeah, you know, we are not the best friends anymore. And tissue, they do come in Chanel shoe sets. I had to cut out a little part because my husband interrupted me, but I didn't move. Still, everything is in that box the way it used to be. We have Chanel shoe sacks, or let's call them dust bags. And I'm surprised. Oh no, it slided out of the shoe sack, one of them. What I wanted to say before the shoe slipped. I'm surprised that there is no return label or anything because I was expecting it would come with a return label because I already checked on my Vestia Collective app if I have the possibility to return and there is none. There is just that same stupid button that I could relist the item within 72 hours if I don't like it for free, but I should be able to return it since this is a professional seller. And then I thought maybe the box comes with a return label and that's how you can return it, but there is no return label. Oh. Let's just hope they do fit so that I don't have to deal with the return process because if I would have to return them, I probably would have to get in contact with the stupid Bestia Collective <laughs> customer chat to ask where my damn return label is and I really don't want to deal with them anymore. Ugh, but how do we do this? I don't want to spoiler myself, so let's just reveal the second shoe together. Ta-da! Okay, they look very, very good. I think I will put up close-ups for you. The description said very good condition, but that they have slight dents in the leather, which is very natural, that just happens. And that they would have slight stains, but to be honest, I can't see any stains on that shoe whatsoever. So let's quickly check the second one. It does have the slight creases in the leather as well, which is completely normal, but I don't see any stains here either. The sole honestly looks like maybe worn once. Okay, from the looks I absolutely love them. They are the way I expected them to look. The condition actually is even better than I did expect. I love that they have the two-tone style with the regular leather and the patent leather tip. They do have a very decent Chanel logo in all black and I'm absolutely in love with that heel that has the Chanel diamond kilting look. Isn't this stunning? And the heels as well, they are hardly worn at all. I really think maybe someone wore them one time. So now I will try them on and please cross your fingers. If they fit, I'm madly in love. Madly in love. From the inside as well, they look great. Oh no, they are very tight on me. They are very tight, but it's real leather, so they probably will loosen up when being worn. I don't know if I should keep them and hope they will loosen up over time or if I should return them when it's such a tight fit because I don't need great Chanel shoes if they hurt me. Oh, it's a tough decision. I think they are so pretty but I'm not sure if they fit well. I just tried them on and oh, I'm really struggling now. I think they are absolutely beautiful. They feel so high quality on the feet because do you know when shoes are somewhat too tight and you put them on and you already can tell where they will rub into your skin and you will get blisters? Well, they are very tight on my feet as well, but they don't dig into my skin. I don't know how to describe it. So especially that back corner on a lot of shoes, if they are a tad too small, this will be a area where you can get blisters, same around here. And I feel that the shoe is tight, especially around the front, but these areas they don't feel as if they would hurt even if the shoes are worn for a longer period of time so right now i really don't know if i should keep them maybe and that the part that feels very tight here up front will get somewhat looser by time since of course it is leather which can extend somewhat and they look as if they only have been worn once so they did not get much use yet and they are not stretched out yet and I think there is a good chance that they 
will fit better when being worn a little while. But on the other hand, I don't want to keep shoes at a luxury price point that don't fit me. But I think they are so pretty and the condition is better than expected and oh, I'm really struggling now. What would you do? Would you keep them and hope that they will get a little bit wider and then be more comfortable? Or if the first try on gave you the impression that they are a tad too small, you would return them. Oh, probably the price is important for that decision as well. So I spotted these shoes the day they popped up and I think that has been essential because I think the price was very good. To me, it was quite certain that they would sell very quickly because of the price point. So they got listed for 360 euro and I made a suggestion. We haggled up and down a little bit and the price my Theresa was willing to accept was 329 euro. So 30 euro less than their initial price, which I already think was a good price. In the end with shipping and Vestia Collective authentication, which I would not have wanted to pick because I don't trust Vestia Collective's checks anymore anyways. But there was no way to not pay that additional 15 euro. Probably because my Theresa already handed these shoes over to Vestia Collective and they stored it and then made everyone pick the check if they wanted or not and make them pay the additional 15 euro. So in total I paid 348 euro and 90 cents. So let's just say 350, that's more easy which I think is a great deal on Chanel shoes. In very good condition, even better condition than I would have expected. Seriously, I think they have been worn once. And considering in the current collection a pair of shoes like this would easily come above 1000 euro. Maybe 1200 up to 1500. And the prices on Chanel constantly increase. So I'm quite confident to say I saved about 1000 euro on these shoes on a pair of very timeless Chanel flats. Maybe it is worth considering to keep them. Give it a try if they will widen a little bit when being worn and if not maybe the price I paid was so good that I would get my money back anyways even if I tried to sell them on in a few weeks or months for now when I noticed oh they don't get wider and they hurt my feet and I do get blisters but at least I gave it a try. I think they are so pretty. They are so timeless, so elegant, so Chanel with the two-tone and that diamond heel, tiny heel, which still makes them flats and that cut and that all black CC logo. They will go with golden hardware, they will go with silver hardware, they will go with everything. And today is a hot day. Maybe, maybe my feet are a little bit swollen because it's hot. <gasps> maybe they will fit better in fall and hmm, that's a thing to consider as well. They are not necessarily summer shoes to me. They do work very well in fall or am I just trying to talk me into keeping them? Definitely let me know what you would do if you think I should keep them and try to make them work and try to make them loosen up a little bit or do you think if it's tight and if half a size more would fit better I should definitely send them back as well <laughs> to check out how that return process with Vestia Collective Professional Sellers works because it's not that obvious to me right now how I even would be able to return them when there is no return label and no return button. But that's another topic. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time and bye. It's a tight fit, but is it a fit or is it too tight? Do I just want them to fit or do they fit? Let me check the weather real quick. If it's more than 28 degrees Celsius, I think I'm confident to blame some of it on the weather and swollen feet. But if it's less than 28 degrees, I don't know if I should do it. Uh, it's only 25. 25 degrees, but I'm feeling very hot here behind the filming light. Uh, should I ask Hubby what he thinks? He will say no, 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 no. To 2000. If you are interested in my toxic relationship with Vestia Collective, check out that video or get right into the tea why I stopped shopping with them or at least wanted to stop shopping with them. Mm -hmm.